In news that's just come in, the Ethics Commissioner has agreed to launch an investigation into Trudeau for potentially breaching the Conflict of Interest Act after the federal government awarded that $900 million contract to the WE charity organization. The decision comes after WE announced today it will no longer manage the program. In a statement, the youth minister says this was a decision that was mutually agreed upon. The prime minister faced intensifying scrutiny over over his relationship with the organization after naming it as the only group capable of managing the program. He addressed the shake-up today, calling it unfortunate. We knew from the beginning uh, that because of uh, work that has been ongoing between this government and we, that this was a decision uh, made ne that needed to be made uh, by our professional public service. Uh, they made the decision in a transparent and open way, uh, to in a rigorous way, to ensure that we had the right partnerships uh, to move forward on this uh, on this opportunity for young people. Uh, we're going to continue to work to make sure that young people have. Uh, the opportunities they need right across the country. And let's now bring in NDP MP Charlie Angus. He represents the Timmins James Bay riding and is the ethics critic for the NDP. Good evening and thank you for joining us on CTV News Channel. Appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for having me on the program. And breaking news that's coming in this hour that the ethics commissioner has just agreed to your request to launch an investigation over a potential conflict of interest. What are your thoughts on this latest development? Uh, the move by the Ethics Commissioner to investigate Justin Trudeau is extraordinary. I wrote to him this morning because of my growing concern with the uh, multiple news articles that were coming out about uh, just how badly this plan of, of giving $900 million single source contract to we to administer, how many questions there were, and it kept going back to the very close ties of Justin Trudeau and his family uh, to the WE Foundation. And it certainly, to me, seemed that it, it could breach the, the Conflict of Interest Act, which is clear you can't give preferential treatment to people you know. The fact that the Ethics Commissioner has responded within a day uh, to my request, saying he is about, he will launch this, that's unprecedented. It is also quite telling. This is the third time the Prime Minister has been uh, put under investigation. Two other times he's been found guilty. We don't have a track record like that for any other sitting Prime Minister. It's The Prime Minister really needs to start coming clean with Canadians on this whole debacle. Mm -hmm. Now, the Prime Minister had defended this partnership, saying that we was the only group with a nationwide network capable of operating a program of this sort of for young people. And today he also said he supports the decision of them pulling out, calling it unfortunate. What does it speak of the due diligence where government is concerned? Well, that is an excellent question because we are in the midst of an unprecedented pandemic. Uh, people's economic lives have been shaken and turned upside down. And the prime minister said he would help post-secondary university students, the, you know, the, the grad students, the students getting their degrees who have massive levels of debt and have no work to go to. So uh, it would have been very straightforward to move forward with a program like that. Instead, this so-called volunteer program where they're going to have to work for less than minimum, much less than minimum wage. Uh, and then it's outsourced to we, a group that has no history of delivering these kind of programs, of avoiding the, they avoided the civil service that were excellent at delivering during the emergency with the pandemic. And we, I mean, their area of expertise is doing youth rallies basically for grade school and high school students. How did they make the mark as the only organization? It raises questions about Justin Trudeau's judgment. It raises questions about the very close links with the Trudeau brand and the WE brand. And I think that's why the ethics commissioner is now investigating Justin Trudeau for his involvement in this decision. You know, it's not the first time we're looking at such a such a service or such a, a, a grant being given to this particular organization to carry out uh, the work for the youth in the country. In the past also, I think it was three times earlier, we've seen such sort of a, uh, an understanding or a deal that's taken place. What does it say that time and again we've seen such, if I may call it, preference being given and today it's blown out of uh, proportion in such a big way? So why wasn't this, this a cause of concern two years ago or three years ago? Well, I think the real issue here is that um, once the Trudeau government came in, a number of contracts were awarded to WE, um, but they were single-source contracts, which meant, and they were just under the legal limit 
where they had to be put out to public tender. So they did, they were under the radar. So these are pretty small contracts in the scheme of things. And in Ottawa, single source contracts tend to be how people award their political friends. I'm not saying they were awarding the, the Keel burgers be, as because they were friends, but these single source contracts are often be done like this because they avoid scrutiny but they're pretty small. So you go from a $25,000 contract for very vague services to a $900 million program that has to be delivered in four months across the country uh, in a transparent way. It just made no sense at all. And the prime minister's claim that the civil service came up with this idea seems bizarre. Uh, the fact that there was many other organizations who were uh, would not have anything to do with this whole deal because it was really, really seemed it seemed sketchy, and it, so it goes back to the fact that the prime minister is very close mm -hmm. with we. His mother has pr been involved with him. His brother's involved. His wife is an ambassador. The the we group has certainly had Justin Trudeau at many of their rallies. Was there a question of political favoritism here that brought this group that did not have the experience to handle this to the front? And that's why the ethics commissioner is looking into whether or not this is actually a breach of the law on the part of the prime minister. Uh, you know, Charlie Angus, you raised a very important point in your first answer that in this tenure of the Trudeau government since 2015, we know this is the second tenure. It's not the first time that such yep. uh, allegations are being levied and are being investigated. We know in the past, at least two times, the commissioner concluded that uh, Trudeau had violated federal ethics laws. Going ahead... Uh, what do you think is the way forward when time and again the Prime Minister is indicted for something like that? Well, I, it really speaks, I think, to the hubris that brings down Justin Trudeau just when everything's going well. It's that one step too far, that level of arrogance, that sense of lack of accountability, and it has consequences. We need to have public officials constrained by the, the laws of the land to make sure that things are done fairly. The fact that the conflict of interest commissioner has almost no power other than shame mm. uh, to, to make a sitting prime minister or anyone else follow the law is is not acceptable. We need to have tools and to, to ensure uh, that the prime minister respects the laws of the land. And having been found guilty twice, he brushed it off. He doesn't seem to think it matters. He doesn't think the rules apply to him. I think the prime minister would do a lot better if he respected the rules because people are looking to the Prime Minister at this time. Canadians want to rally around. We want to get the best out. There's been a lot of great work done on this pandemic, but this idea that in the middle of an unprecedented crisis that friends are getting helped, uh, that just doesn't sit right. I think the Prime Minister needs to understand his obligations, but we probably need to put teeth into the legislation to mm -hmm. make sure he does follow the law of the land. Right, and this will, again, put further pressure on the Prime Minister and the government, but we'll have to leave it at that. It was good talking to you. That's NDP MP Thank Charlie so Angus. Much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much.